Hello and welcome to another edition of Eco Crypto Educate. Today, we're going to talk about the two most popular cryptocurrencies in the world, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Thanks for learning with us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bitcoin and Ethereum are often compared and contrasted, but the truth is that they have some fundamental differences that are worth exploring. So, let's dive in and take a closer look at what sets these two cryptocurrencies apart. I will not elaborate a lot on Bitcoin. If you're a loyal viewer of our channel, you already know that Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency that operates on a peer-to-peer -peer network. It was created in 2009 by an unknown person using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. And that Bitcoin's original main purpose is to provide an alternative to traditional currencies and payment systems. Bitcoin is a rather rigid system. Yet, one advantage of such rigidity, compared notably to Ethereum, is the reliability and security it provides. In addition, the rigidity of Bitcoin scripting language makes it less vulnerable to coding errors and hacking attempts, which enhances its security. Finally, the rigidity of Bitcoin's protocol ensures that it operates in a predictable and consistent manner, which helps to promote trust and confidence in the network. Now, let's move on to Ethereum. Ethereum is also a decentralized digital currency, but it's much more than that. Ethereum is a platform that allows developers to build decentralized applications, or dApps, on top of it. This is possible thanks to the technology behind Ethereum, which allows developers to create smart contracts, self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement between buyer and seller directly written into lines of code. So, while Bitcoin is primarily focused on being a store of value, Ethereum is much more versatile, with a wide range of applications beyond just payments and financial transactions. And what exactly is a smart contract? At its simplest, a smart contract is a computer program that automatically executes the terms of a contract when certain conditions are met. These contracts are built on top of the Ethereum blockchain, which means that they are decentralized and transparent, with no need for intermediaries like lawyers or banks. Smart contracts are incredibly flexible and can be used for a wide range of applications, from finance to supply chain management to identity verification. For example, let's say you want to buy a car from someone online. You can create a smart contract that holds your money in escrow until the car is delivered to you. Once the car arrives, the smart contract automatically releases the money to the seller. It's safe, secure, and completely automated. But smart contracts can do much more than just handle financial transactions. They can also be used for things like voting, property management, and even social media. For example, a smart contract could be created that automatically distributes royalties to musicians based on the number of times their songs are streamed on a platform like Spotify. One of the most exciting things about smart contracts is that they can be programmed to do pretty much anything. As long as you can write the code, you can create a smart contract to execute it. This means that the possibilities for innovation and new applications are nearly endless. Of course, like any new technology, there are also challenges and potential risks associated with smart contracts. They are only as good as the code they are built on, and there have been instances where bugs or vulnerabilities in smart contracts have led to major losses for users. That's why it's important to approach smart contracts with caution and to make sure that you understand what you're getting into. In summary, smart contracts are a powerful and exciting feature of the Ethereum platform. They allow for secure, transparent, and automated transactions and have a wide range of applications across a variety of industries. But as with any new technology, it's important to be aware of the risks and to approach them with caution. To conclude, Bitcoin and Ethereum are two very different cryptocurrencies with very different purposes. Bitcoin is a store of value, while Ethereum is a platform for building decentralized applications. But both are key players in the world of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, and both have their own unique strengths and weaknesses. 
And I do not see both systems competing each other but rather as complementing each other. 1. Bitcoin, having the role of a digital gold, while the other, Ethereum, would have the role of digital silver. And not, we'll focus a bit on Ethereum with the smart contracts. Smart contracts can be used to automate the transfer of property ownership. The contract can hold the funds from the buyer and release them to the seller once the transfer of ownership is confirmed. They can be used to track the movement of goods in a supply chain. The contract can automatically update the status of the product and trigger payments and deliveries based on the defined conditions. They can automate the insurance claim process by automatically verifying the claim and releasing the payment to the insured. They can be used for secure and transparent voting systems where votes are stored on the blockchain and counted automatically. To secure identity verification, where a user's identity can be verified through a blockchain-based identity system that is tamper-proof and secure. Or to create decentralized gaming platforms, where players can participate in games that are transparent and tamper-proof. These are just a few examples. What are the possible impacts on our normal lives? Use of smart contracts represents a significant revolution in the way we conduct business and interact with each other, primarily because they provide a way to automate transactions without need for intermediaries. Eliminating need for intermediaries, such as banks, lawyers, or brokers, significantly reduces transaction costs, especially in industries with high transaction volumes. Smart contracts operate on a public blockchain, which provides a transparent record of all transactions. This can increase accountability and prevent fraudulent activities. Since they're self-executing and automated, smart contracts are faster than traditional manual transactions to be executed and to complete. Also, they're secured by cryptographic algorithms and operate on a decentralized network, which makes them less vulnerable to hacking or other types of cyber attacks. Disintermediation can significantly improve efficiency of many industries usually relying on intermediaries for their conventional operations and lead the emergence of new business models. Overall, you understand that the impact of smart contracts on our normal lives is expected to be extremely significant. Emergence of smart contracts and other blockchain-based technologies are likely to disrupt many traditional industries and professions, some be impacted more than others. Smart contracts have the potential to automate many legal processes, such as contract management and dispute resolution. This could lead to a reduced demand for lawyers in these areas. They can automate many financial processes, such as auditing and tax preparation, which could reduce the demand for accountants. As they can automate many of the processes involved in real estate transactions, such as property transfer and verification, this could reduce the requirement for real estate agents and the lawyers needed to draft and review complex legal documents. It would streamline the process of transferring titles and registering property. Smart contracts could reduce need for human underwriters and claims adjusters or other administrative staff, as they're capable of automating many processes, such as claims verification and payouts, helping to ensure that claims are processed quickly and efficiently. And they can automate many financial processes, such as asset management and investment analysis, which would reduce the need for human analysts. The key benefit of smart contracts is their ability to automate creation and execution of contracts, as well as the verification and enforcement of terms. This could significantly impact the legal and administrative staff typically involved in these processes. Now while some jobs are at risk, new jobs are also likely to emerge from these innovations. As such, it's important for individuals and organizations to stay up to date with these technologies and acquire new skills to adapt to the changing job market. And now, we'll focus on some potential areas of application of Bitcoin. Someone asked why in none of the previous videos had I not mentioned that Bitcoin was a money. 
Well, to answer that, I'll get help from Henry Ford, who said. Well, restricting the function of Bitcoin to just being a means of payment is similar to limiting the function of a car to only racing. While a car can certainly be used for racing, it has many other uses, such as commuting to work, traveling long distances, or transporting goods. Similarly, while Bitcoin was originally created as a decentralized digital currency, its underlying technology has the potential to be used for a wide range of applications beyond just payments, such as supply chain management, identity verification, and decentralized social media. Bitcoin, as the first and most well-known cryptocurrency, was originally created with the purpose of being used as a decentralized digital currency that could be used for peer-to-peer -peer transactions without the need for intermediaries. However, as the technology and use cases of blockchain and cryptocurrencies have evolved, it has become apparent that the possibilities of what can be achieved with this technology are much broader and more varied than the original intended purpose of Bitcoin. Just as the original purpose of the internet was to provide a secure and decentralized communication system for the military, its possibilities and uses today are much broader and more diverse than its inventors could have imagined. Booking a cruise trip? Ordering pizza? Who would have imagined that when TCP IP was invented in the 80s? The same is true of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. While the original purpose of Bitcoin was to be used as a digital currency, its underlying technology, the blockchain, has a wide range of potential applications that were not initially foreseen. Today, we are still very, very far from having any idea on the extent of such potential. Just as the TCP IP protocol, which forms the basis of the internet, enabled a wide range of new applications and industries that were not initially imagined, blockchain and cryptocurrencies have the potential to do the same. As the technology continues to evolve and new use cases emerge, it is likely that the possibilities of blockchain and cryptocurrencies will continue to expand and surprise us in ways that we cannot yet anticipate. Here are 10 possible applications of Bitcoin in its underlying technology, the blockchain, beyond their use as a form of money. Here are a few possible applications of Bitcoin in its underlying technology, the blockchain, beyond their use as a form of money. Supply chain management, to track and verify movement of goods through the supply chain, improving transparency and efficiency. Identity verification, to create a decentralized, tamper-proof digital identity system that could be used for everything from voting to banking. Decentralized social media, to power decentralized social media platforms that are not controlled by a central authority and provide better privacy and security to users. Online voting, to create a secure, tamper-proof online voting system that could increase participation and reduce fraud. Digital art ownership, to create a digital certificate of ownership for artwork and other digital assets, allowing creators to retain control over their work and earn revenue from it. Micropayments to enable small, low-cost transactions, impractical with traditional payment systems, or decentralized crowdfunding platforms, where individuals can raise funds for their projects without relying on traditional intermediaries like banks or venture capitalists. By limiting the function of Bitcoin to payments, we miss out on the potential of blockchain technology to revolutionize other industries and improve transparency in various sectors. Just as a car has a range of uses extending beyond racing, Bitcoin and blockchain technology have the potential to transform many aspects of our lives far beyond payments. It's important to recognize and explore the diverse applications to fully realize its potential for the future. And remember Mr. Ford, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. That's it for today folks. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, stay free to choose.